Hi everyone, it is Wednesday, November 2nd. It's the Day of the Dead. But do you know what today also is? It's Wine Wednesday. Hi everyone, I'm Nancy and welcome back to my channel, to my viewers, my subscribers. You guys are awesome. Thank you so much. You guys mean the whole world to me. I appreciate you more than you know, so thank you from the bottom of my heart. If you are new to my channel, I hope that you would take a second and just hit that little red subscribe button over there. I'd love to have you come back and join us for future videos. Today we are doing Wine Wednesday. It's also Day of the Dead, so I kept my costume out because I figured it was an, an appropriate day to wear it. I've got my Sugar Skull people right here, so they are joining me as well. We're going to have a little bit of wine, a little bit of dinner. So if you want to deposit this, go grab yourself a glass of wine or a cup of coffee, tea, glass of soda, or a nice cold glass of ice water. That's always refreshing. So today we are making, well, I already made it. We are having some Wisconsin beer cheese soup. I never had this till we moved out here. And it was just one of those things that whenever we went someplace and it was a, the soup of the day, we would always grab some. It's They have so many different recipes that are like, oh my God, some of them have like 30 ingredients in them. This one I do is super, super simple. I start it in a saucepan. I melt some butter, I whisk in some flour, make it nice and thick. I add, then I throw it all in my crock pot where I add like some, they say whipping cream, but I use half and half uh, chicken broth and I get that all kind of mixed up together. And when it's nice and creamy, then I add some cheese. Now, sometimes I get cheese Whiz because the recipe I got from a cheese Whiz commercial. But if I can't find cheese Whiz because I don't always know where it is, I'll grab like that block of Velveeta cheese and put like 16 ounces in. So like half the block, I cube it up. Once it's all kind of melted, I just take, kind of take my little hand beater, kind of mix it all up in my crock pot, let it sit, cook a little bit. Then I throw in a great big handful of fresh chives, some beer. And this beer, I haven't put beer in so long. This I mean, this is one of Rick's beer, so this is probably, and he hasn't, he had, didn't drink beer for years and years, so this could be about 10 years old. But I think I, you know, with beer, I would, when he wanted beer, I would just buy something with a cute label. Yeah. So, yeah. Still smells like beer. I think if it isn't fresh, maybe it still has the ingredients and then a little bit of Worcestershire sauce. And that's all that I do. Sits in the crock pot on low, cook it all day. It's amazing. And then, of course, put popcorn on top. I'm not sure why, but we put popcorn on top. So anyway, the wine that we are having today is actually one that I got from Sip and Savor. And it was when I got one of the um, my club deliveries, and I was supposed to get like six different wines, two of each, and I got two wines, six of each, and then they sent me three big bottles as my, I'm sorry. So I'm finally going to open this one. I thought this might go good with cheese soup. So this is Craft and Battle, Craft and Barrel, and it's a Cognac Barrel Aged Chardonnay. So I thought that might have some nice flavor. Oh, I lost my handy dandy opener. I thought I had it right here, but maybe I left it in the kitchen. I will be right back. Alrighty, so I'm back. I got it open. That way you didn't have to listen to the noise. So anyway, just going to check this out. And because it's kind of Day of the Dead, I didn't put away my Halloween glasses yet. Though I do have to do them. Put them away. Alrighty. So Chardonnays are typically kind of like a, they say like a buttery, creamy, a nice full body texture. Could have taste of vanilla. Sometimes there's fruits in there. Anyway. I'm going to have a quick sip. I need one of these with red on it. I think I'm, I'm just smelling kind of like vanilla, maybe fig, maybe tobacco, a leather. 
Maybe cognac. Maybe that's what I'm sniffing. Okay, cheers, everyone. Mmm. Mmm. This has got a really nice flavor. It's different than the other Chardonnays that I've had because it does have that oaky flavor of the cognac in here. So it's got an entirely different taste than just a regular Chardonnay. It's smooth. It's creamy. Um, it is dry. You can feel it like on here, up the top of your mouth here and in through here. Um, it's like a caramel, soft, it's buttery. It's got vanilla, maybe some fig, maybe something like leather or a tobacco kind of scent in here or flavor in here. I'll just have another quick sip. Mm. This is really, really nice. Can't, I would have had two small bottles, but instead I got this great big bottle. Alrighty, so my soup. And I didn't buy some of those red lobster, the cheddar cheese rolls that I was going to make with it, but I didn't want to make a whole thing of rolls for myself. So I just got one of those frozen rolls again. Right here, I put it in the oven for a few minutes. And let me see if I can do the soup for you. But I've got to put the popcorn in it. Because you don't want to put the popcorn on too soon because then it gets soggy. And I don't like microwave popcorn on it because it's too soggy. So I got this little bag at the checkout of this Pirate's Booty Cheddar Cheese Popcorn. No, it's not popcorn at all. I thought it was popcorn, but it's like cheese things. Well, it'll do, right? Popcorn would have been better, but I'll take Cheetos. Alrighty. So we got it in my warm and cozy mug from Vino. And I don't know if you can see, but it's nice, thick, creamy cheese soup with chives in here. I mean, you can use extra like salt and pepper, but I usually try not to cook with, with that. Anyway, just going to have a quick taste. It smells like beer and cheese. Cheers, everyone. Mm. It's rich. It's creamy. You really don't, I don't think you can really taste the beer. I think whatever it is in there, it cooks off. It just gives it a little bit of flavor. But it's nice and cheesy. It is going to go so nice with my roll and my Chardonnay. So again, I want to thank you guys so much for popping in, spending a few minutes of your day with me. You guys are just so great. I am so grateful that you guys take a few minutes out of your day to spend with me. It means so much to me. So anyway, I hope you go out. Take care, everyone. Stay safe. Be kind, be happy, enjoy life, have some fun. Love you guys so much and we will see you in our next video.